So today we're going to talk about giveaways. Should you do them? Are they even worth doing? Is it going to help you bring in more clients? Is it going to help with exposure? We're going to talk about that in today's video. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. But if this is your first time on the channel, my name is A Train. I give photography tips and tricks on this channel, and we also talk about the business side. So if you're interested in learning that, consider subscribing. I post new videos every single week. All right, let's get straight into it. So it is holiday season. You usually see a lot of businesses, you know, giving away free stuff, doing giveaways. So I thought this would be a good time to talk about this stuff um, because giveaways is something that it can it can help you a lot, but it can also hurt you uh, if you don't do them the right way. So I kind of have mixed opinions about giveaways, but we're going to find that out um, in this video. But the first thing I want to talk about is just my experience with giveaways. So uh, it's, it hasn't been something that's really big with our business. We've only done just two, I think like two or three giveaways and we've been in business since 2016. So that should let you know we don't do a lot of giveaways. Uh, the first one was just bad. It didn't go good at all. I didn't like it. And that's probably why we moving forward, we didn't do a lot of giveaways. I just don't like just how it turned out. And then we did a giveaway earlier this year and that one went really good. You know, obviously, you know, the first one was when we first started our business to now, which is like four or four and a half years later. So obviously it's gonna go a lot more smoother and better. And, you know, we've gained a lot of knowledge. So we applied those things and it turned out really good. All right, so let's go back to that first giveaway. Like I said, that was when we first started our business in 2016. And honestly, the reason I wanted to do it is because that's kind of all I knew. Like I was saying, going into this, we didn't have any business experience or nothing like that. So I thought um, that's what we were supposed to do. I've seen a lot of photographers. I've seen it in a lot of videos and posts saying, you know, if you're starting out, do a giveaway, do a giveaway. So I told my wife, I'm like, look, we have to do a giveaway to get this thing rolling. And uh, I honestly thought it was gonna bring in a lot of clients and just a lot of exposure and it did not. <laughs> I think we ended up giving away like three sessions and it just, it was bad. I didn't like it at all. I did not like how it went at all. It was hard to get in touch with these people. They were giving us the runaround. And, you know, it's kind of to be expected. We were a newer business. We didn't have our stuff together. We didn't look legit and professional. Like I tell y'all, you know, I really harp on that, like just looking up to par. So I guess it was kind of to be expected, but I don't even think we ended up shooting any of those sessions or we just shot like one of them because people were giving us the run around. And me and my wife, we were like, look, they are not about to be wasting our time. Like you signed up for the giveaway. I didn't tell you to sign up for it. So obviously you wanted photos, but now I can't even get you to uh, schedule a session. So I don't know how that works, but you know, people are just weird sometimes. So yeah. Okay, so going forward to our second giveaway, that was for engagement sessions. And like I said, we gained a lot of knowledge. We we didn't even do this one the same way. So for the first one, we just announced it on social media. But for the second one, we actually ran ads for that one, trying to reach um, new people instead of just, you know, people that already follow us and stuff like that. So we ran ads for that. We actually had a plan going into it. Y'all see me harp about that a lot. So we had a plan. Um, we had a plan on the back end as far as upselling so doing these sessions for free and still making money and we did end up making money from these sessions so it went really well we shot a lot of good sessions um you know it really beefed up our portfolio yeah that one went really well we ended up making money the clients were cool like the sessions were fun they were like our ideal clients like people that were trying to target in the future um they you know they had that specific look that we were going for and uh yeah we did some upsells on the back end so just overall it went really well all right so now we're going to get into the pros and cons of doing giveaways so we're going to get into the good and the bad or should i say the ugly because it can get ugly if you don't do these right but before i get into that i want to know leave a comment down below and let me know have you ever done giveaways and what was your experience like with doing giveaways so comment down below and let me know all right, so let's get into the good of doing giveaways, some pros. So the first thing, which is pretty obvious, it's going to help you build your portfolio. You know, that's why we were doing it when we first started out, because we didn't have a lot of work. So we were trying to build that momentum and get just more work to show. So that's pretty much the main point of doing a giveaway. And sometimes, you know, it's just because you're trying to build up a certain part of your portfolio or just because you need more content to post. So it's definitely going to help you build your portfolio. And if you're just starting out, if you're a beginner, I think 
you should definitely try giveaways. You know, I'm not saying you have to do it all the time, but you definitely want to try it because your experience may be different from mine and you don't know how something's going to work until you try it. So I'm all for just trying stuff and seeing how it works. And if you're just starting out, I think they're great to do to just help you, you know, get some more content uh, to just show people what you can do as far as your skills. All right. So pro number two is you can still make money from doing something like this. So I have some other videos on my channel. I'll link one in a card up top, but you can upsell on the back end and still make money because I know how some people feel about doing free work. You're like, oh, I'm not you know, getting my worth. I'm not, you know, just getting in return what I deserve for doing this. But, you know, you got to look at this differently. And if you're strategic and you plan and you know what to do on the back end, you can actually upsell and still make money. Or maybe you could push that client to book another session or just, you know, you could do anything. It's all about the ideas you have and just what you implement. So you can still make money from doing these. Like I said, with the second giveaway, we did actually make money um, from doing those free sessions by doing upsells, just selling like, you know, full galleries, uh, extra images. So that's something that you definitely want to keep in mind uh, when you're doing giveaways. Don't just think free, think like a business and think about what type of upsells that client may be interested in. And it can really turn out to, you know, make you some good money from doing free work. All right. So the last pro I got for y'all is they pretty much give you more content to put out content is everything as a business you know your marketing your marketing is everything and if you don't have you know stuff to market stuff to show it's going to be hard to book clients and just get people to recognize you and just establish yourself as that go-to photographer or just the photographer in general if you don't have work and you don't take pictures and don't post them then you're technically to some people you may not even look like a photographer because you don't post so i think they're good to do maybe if you just have like a slow season or something like that or maybe you just need more content things have slowed down in your business and you need more content to post then a giveaway is a great idea uh, of something you can do all right now let's talk about the cons let's talk about the bad the ugly but before i get into that i just need a small favor if you're getting value from this video if you're learning anything if you're enjoying it just please drop a like it really helps the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. Now let's get back into it. So con number one is they don't really help with exposure. Like I was saying with that first giveaway, I thought it was just gonna explode. I thought <laughs> like a volcano just erupt. I thought we were gonna have like thousands of, not thousands, but hundreds of shares and just people just hopping on it because you know, people love free stuff, but it didn't really work out like that. And maybe it's because we were new, but I don't know the second giveaway it was a good amount of people but i don't know i just expected just a whole bunch of people but it didn't work out like that so as far as exposure and just getting a lot of people to know about your business and then you know you obviously think maybe that these people are going to start reaching out no it did not work like that just my experience maybe your experience has been different okay let's get into con number two so this honestly should have been number one and that is people some people will not take you serious like I was kind of saying earlier, it was hard uh, to get these clients to schedule these clients and get them on our books and actually do the session. And I think that's mainly because and this is something that I've learned when stuff is free, people just don't take it serious, you know, versus if they're actually pulling money from their pockets and paying you, you know, thousands of dollars or five hundred six hundred dollars for a session so that's just one of the main things I've really just um, come to learn in business is people don't really value free stuff as much as the paid stuff and i seen that with the giveaway it was just difficult to schedule these clients even like the latest giveaway we did uh you know some people just didn't take it serious we had some actually a client um flake on us like last minute the day of so like i'm saying people just don't take it serious and i think that's mainly because it's free so that's just something to keep in mind it is free and you will kind of get like trouble clients or people not you know being serious about it so you definitely want to keep that in mind the last kind i got for y'all is giveaways can hurt your brand and business if you don't do them correctly so what i mean by this and i guess the first point i want to touch is you can do giveaways too much and i've actually seen this with a lot of photographers they're constantly doing giveaways and i think that kind of it kind of devalues like your brand and your business because you're constantly just giving away stuff for free like if you pay attention to bigger businesses any big business that you see out here you know they're very strategic about just giving away free stuff and when they do their giveaways so they have a plan behind it and i think just 
as a small, you know, maybe photography business, if you're constantly giving away giveaways, you know, you got to look at it like this. That person may even think I'm not going to book a session because I'm just going to wait for the next giveaway. This person is always giving away free stuff and I'm just going to wait. So that's kind of how I look at it. And then other than that, I think, like I was saying earlier, you want to be strategic and have a plan like we did. We upsold on the back end, you know, instead of just doing like a random giveaway for the heck of it, you know, actually have a plan, have a specific look that you want with that giveaway and have specific requirements as far as um, just what the client needs to meet to enter the giveaway. So I think that's very important when it comes to doing giveaways. Okay, so in conclusion, should you do giveaways? You know, is this something that's going to help your business? Um, I personally think, you know, yes and no. I think giveaways are good if you're a beginner and you're trying to get the ball rolling and get more clients. And I don't think they're good if you're just randomly doing them, if you're doing them too much and you don't have a plan. So they can definitely be a great thing. I don't want you to think I'm just kind of just bashing giveaways and you shouldn't do them. I definitely think you should try them but be very strategic, um, learn about upselling. I have some videos, I'll link them in the description. Learn about upselling and just ways that you can still benefit and, and get money from these giveaways or book. Maybe you do like an engagement and, and you know you up your sales process and you can book the wedding just for shooting for free, which is gonna be a lot more money. So just thinking like that, you need to think about this differently. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned anything from it, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. I post new videos every single week. We talk about photography, I give tips and tricks, and we also talk about the important stuff like this, the business side. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see y'all in my next video. Peace.